I mean, as clean as I think I've ever seen him do it. What a win. Don't get stuck in the sand trap at oh. the race. <laughs> <laughs> over at turn five, the grandstands over there. A lot of the fans able to watch and enjoy this burnout. What a, what a finish. Fourth win already this season for Ty Gibbs. I'm trying to go back. It's been a very young career, but this has to be the biggest of, of them all. I mean, I know your first is probably always going to feel that way, but I mean, to Kyle Larson is, I mean, he's the talk of the town the last two years. Kyle Larson's the guy you have to beat. Look, guys, I I feel like he's done this before. Think about it. Who did he beat to win these road course races? Cindric, Amendinger, and now Larson. I mean, he's beaten some of the very best to win these races. This is this is a major surprise. I, I, I it's shocking that a young man can be that good that early, but he's proven that this guy, he's proven that he can do it. Definitely got enough tires to do a burnout scene. It's impressive. Jeff, you mentioned it earlier, what it was like to have, you know, the cup stars in the race. And I just have to think that's what Kyle Larson added to this show today, right, is he came to get laps. But him being in this race elevated the stage for Ty Gibbs, perhaps to your point, Jeff, just to prove once again how good he is. So many questions. Initially, when he came into the series, the grandson of Joe Gibbs, Getting great equipment. But right here, it proved talent was what got him the win here. Going up against the very best in the Cup Series. And look at the emotion out of young Ty Gibbs. This was very big for him. the most epic burnouts I've ever seen in my life. I think this crowd has ever seen down in turn five. Ty Gibbs, at 19 years old, you just beat a Cup Series champion in a head-to-head -head battle. How did you do that? Uh, I don't know. I just want to say all glory to Jesus Christ. Um, I want to say thank you to my team, Monster Energy. I had a fun time racing with Kyle. Uh, I thought I was going to get a little rough there, um, but, you know, he's, he's such a great competitor, um, you know, he's a good person, so we play golf the other day, so I want to tell him thanks for the golf lessons. I still suck, <laughs> but, you know, thank you so much. This is just awesome. I can't, I can't believe it. Um, you know, this is just wonderful. And you made that pass cleanly. We saw so much aggression, so much bumping out there, but you made that pass cleanly. How did you do that? It almost looked like you got him into a mistake a little bit. Yeah, you know, I feel like we were a little bit faster um, in the first half of the track, the last two sectors, I feel like we were um, not as fast, uh, you know, but I feel like, you know, right now I just need to earn respect back, and that's what I'm doing, I, think I feel like I've got my lesson, so uh, I just gotta learn and not make mistakes, um, I made plenty of them today, I thought I lost the race on their own restart, so thankfully I get this one back, but, you know, I still gotta work on this, the first initial, and then the second to last one. Your crew chief, Chris Gale, mentioned no moment is, no moment is too big, what type of mental attitude did that put you in to go get that win? I mean, it's the, it's awesome, but I feel like, you know, for me, I just stayed, uh, you know, putted the whole time, and, you know, hopefully a lot of people are watching, uh, you know, there's, uh, it's a cool to be here, cool to race against a Cup Series guy, so, um, hopefully that says something, but, you know, I'm, uh, thankful where I'm at. As you can just tell how excited he is down here, and this crowd was pumped seeing this burnout. Woo. So let's go back and watch the pass for the win for the race. So 